Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. I'm going to be taking a look at the person who ghosted you and how life has been for them since they left. Now this reading is not for everyone. I created this reading intended to give people um, insight, clarity, and closure to a situation where they may not have received answers, little to no answers, or someone just completely stopped talking to you altogether or left. Um, and you're looking for those answers. So that's what this reading is for four now like i said may not be for everyone that's okay you can check out other readings on my channel underneath your playlist with that being said we're going to go ahead and get started this is general and it may not resonate for everyone if it does go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read now i'm going to pull three cards to start clarify each card to give us some more insight and at the end of your reading i'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. These are going to be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear and answers to questions you possibly have. Now, just uh, to prepare you, these messages plus this reading um, can be triggering for some. So if you feel uncomfortable watching it, please don't make yourself watch a reading that makes you feel uncomfortable. I, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. The person who ghosted Aquarius, show me how life has been since they ghosted Aquarius. Okay, so they're talking to someone who plays games sometimes. Like they would like to be with this person, but this person keeps playing games with them um, and doesn't want them. It's different. So the death card at the bottom of the deck right here, they might be ending things like, you know what, I'm just going to give up. But I am going to tell you that it's different. It's a change for this person because they're typically the one that's sitting here like this nine of cups. Like, yeah, I have all this love all around me. But now they're the one that's talking to someone who is like, yeah, you want me, but that's fine. But that person keeps playing games with them. And, you know, um, they're just, I don't know why they would want that person, but you know, whatever, I guess this is their way to learn, you know, and they ghosted you. So they're going to learn somehow here. Ace of swords, nine of cups, and the five of swords, as well as the death card at the bottom of the deck right here. Let's go ahead and clarify this ace of swords. So they're talking to this person about giving things a real chance here and like making something out of, you know, the situation that they're in with this person. Could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but I just get that they really like the way that this person is, meaning that this person isn't giving them any attention really, but they want it. This person will give them a little bit of attention, but not enough to make them feel like they're in control. It's the other way around. They're not in control and they're the one being played. Um, and I get like this is kind of what they would do to you where one day it would be awesome and the next day they'd be cold, you know, and you're like, what is going on? Um, they're typically the one that does that and now the the page has turned on them, you know, now the roles have reversed on this person and they're the one being, um, played in a sense. And this, uh, this person who's like, yeah, I know that you want me. And they're like, oh my God, they're everything that I want. This person's not interested in them and they're trying to talk to them. What they're getting from this person is just coldness. Okay. This person has their sword up, this queen of swords right here. Um, they come in and they're, they're trying to talk to them about a relationship. And then this person's like, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, Cause they're not, yeah, they see right through them as well. Let's go ahead and clarify this nine of cups. The death card comes out. 
The reason that this person is everything that they want, they're a dream to them, is because they're very different. Because this is someone who is not nurturing to them. Wow. So basically, Aquarius, you had to be really mean to this person in order for them to want to stay. That's, that's exactly what's coming out. Like, oh, did you want me to stay? Well, then you have to be mean to me. I don't know. That's what they're used to, I guess. But, you know, this person's very different. And they're like, oh, my gosh, I've never, I've never wanted anyone like this. Um, but this person's not. Also, this person might have a lot of money um, or a very nice life. And so that's why they want them as well. It might not all be about the fact that they're, you know, not giving them the time of day but also the fact that they have money and that's what they're looking at let's go ahead and clarify this five of swords mm -hmm. this person is playing games with them because they just don't get back to them um when they brought up this conversation about seeing where things would go between them and this person this person just went completely silent they were talking to them for a little while and then all of a sudden, boom, no more. So Five of Swords is clarified by the Hermit. Now they're just like, I need some time alone. Um, they're feeling that they're too different from, from this person you were dealing with. So whoever they're dealing with is like, no, we're, we're not on the same page. We're too different from each other. Um, so they just stopped talking to them and... It looks like this person's been patiently waiting for them to come back around and talk to them again. So the Hermit card and what was it? The Temperance card that came out. So they're chasing after somebody who doesn't want to be chased, basically. They're, they're doing the chasing when usually whoever they're dealing with does the chasing for them. Whoever they deal with typically is the one who carries the conversation with them as well. And it's not happening that way for them. And they're seeing things differently and wanting to um, be with somebody who is basically like them. So, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get some messages um, from this person who ghosted Aquarius, please. It just gets better. Oh, and they project their feelings onto you. All right, first thing that comes out. Um, I can't be changed, all right? So that's the first thing that comes out. Well, obviously, we know that. Them ghosting you has a lot to do with this person's just got a lot of jacked up stuff happening. I'm married and I hid it from you. And here's the thing, like they cheat with you, they cheat with other people. Um, I get like they're separated from their person, you know, whoever they're married to, or they just like to cheat. Oh, I don't know. But if they're separated, they're still talking to, they're not on the outs. Like they separated from their spouse in hopes that they could work things out later. So, married and hid it from you. I'm hiding my toxic behavior from you. I get narcissism. Um, they're a cheater. You know, they just... Toxic behavior all the way around. I see that this person wanted you to chase after them, Aquarius. I don't see that you really gave them the time of day. And then they went to somebody else that, like, they started talking to and realized this person isn't interested in them. How could they not be interested in me? I'm a good-looking person, you know? And that was different for them. And they're now finding out the hard way that not everybody is into them, I guess. So I'm in a dark place in my life. Um, they are, but that's their problem to figure out because of the fact that they have some toxic behaviors. They have bad, uh, be bad behavioral patterns and um, mannerisms here. And they're married and they're in a dark place because they're not happy in their marriage. They can't be changed. They're not going to leave their partner. They're not going to do that. Um, and you hurt me, so I left you. This is their excuse. This is their projection. Like, you know what, Aquarius? You hurt me, so I left. I left. I had to. I just needed to get out of there. And that's so that way they don't have to feel accountable or responsible for 
what they did to you on their part. They need to take accountability. Whether there was hurt feelings from your side as well, I think everybody needs to take accountability for their own actions, you know, and their own words. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.